So, this is a little awkward. But uh, I, I actually kind of forgot to mention some things in the last video. So, this is the follow-up, I guess. So, this is actually probably the best deck it, for, to play for this event. Because I realized that, uh, well, along the road somewhere, you know, I just realized. Oh, hey. Virtual world, huh? Yeah, all the, these cards are legal. Yeah, they, they, they just are. So this is probably one of the best decks, if not, like, the best deck to play for this event. So I think the ratios were something like this. And then three of these... Three of these, you want to play none of those, no one cares about that card right there. Why would you play Otis? Oh, it's a human. Alright, and then you need a copy of Fan Fan, and then do we even care about Jaja? <laughs> eh, it's okay. We'll just put these in, just... Just cause. You don't really typically play, uh, these two. But, I mean, you might be lacking some cards on the extra deck. I don't know if you are or not. So, whatever. We're putting them in anyways. And for, like, a monster negate that's a three, Cicada King, I believe, is available anyways. If you wanted to play Cicada King... And then let's see, what do we have for rank sixes? Rank six. Alright. Let's see for rank sixes. Basil Triss is not makeable. Alright. A lot of the good ones are actually banned, right? Nash Knight is not really makeable. It requires three. Frozen Lady. Swordbreaker. I, mean, I don't see anything that stands out to me. Uh, Gauntlet Launcher is like alright, I guess. Let's check out the other cards. I don't remember all their attributes, so let's check Vermilion. Vermilion. Ah, yes. Vermilion Dragon Mech is completely playable, of course. And then what up? Uh, Ravenous Crocodragon. Crocodragon. And then Stardust Charge Warrior. Why it's playable, of course. Alright, then maybe we can cut these because we don't need these. This is not targetable. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't know when this effect is relevant. Yeah. Long Long doesn't look good. And since we do have a water, is there any funny plays we can do? Mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think we can make Adamant, Spader, uh, Rise of Raptite here. Not like, in a logical way. I guess we can also f put in like a Foolish Burial if we want, but I guess going for more staples is probably just the right play. Something like this. And then on a, like a bit of this. Shen Shen is pretty decent still, no matter what, right? So let's go check out what we have for Synchro 9s. And I think Anther Blafnir might be legal, right? Cloud Castle is, Gotham's is as well. Nothing else super noticeable here except for Pirate's Old Braver. And Trishula is okay. We'll just put in a copy for now. Scrapton Dragon. Oregon Drax. Once your opponent controls are in the big up to the number of synchro materials used for the synchro summon of this card, banish them. So on field and in your graveyard. I mean, we can put in a copy of Oregon Drax just for the sake of it. And then do we have any, like, perhaps interesting Synchro 6s we can make? Like Desert Locust doesn't sound like a good time. I don't want to go my Swan. Mm. 
I guess there is Coral Dragon as well. Just some stuff like this, and you're doing a little bit better, I guess. Like, I guess my deck doesn't look the best right now, but whatever. Emergency Teleport, of course. And let's see, we're looking a bit better already. Are we missing anything important? I think we aren't really missing anything too important. Let me just get one more copy of Droplet and then I think we're good. So something like this, probably. But this is still like pretty decent. It's just a matter of like knowing what uh, cards you can play. Wasn't it something like that? Let's see, Enter Blafnir? Wasn't that what it was called? Well, whatever. XYZ9. Alright, let's check. Oh, enter Blathnir. Okay. Misspelled it. Oops. And then you have this. And Jormungandr, maybe not the best option to go into, I guess, right? And then with Fire Tool Braver, of course, you can throw in, like, the um, relevant spell traps for Fire Tool Braver. And there's some, some nasty ones, honestly. It's just, you have to tech in some equip spells, which could be awkward or not. It doesn't really matter, but you can discard them for cost anyways. For, like, uh, King, uh, King Long's Graveyard Effect, for example. Or like uh, Zon Wu's graveyard effect, which is completely fine, I guess. Let's see, six. Synchro six is not really doing too hot in that regard. Synchro nines. This is everything we have. So, I guess. Let's see. I guess Sacred Tree Beast uh, Hyper Hyper Ridion here or whatever. This is decent. This can be a monster and spell or monster trap negate, which is fine. This plays around like evenly and like Raigeki and stuff. Could work these ratios around to fit more like generic cards as well, like Raigekis and whatnot. I mean, let's take a look at one of the hands. Oh, yeah, this is a good hand, no matter how you look at it, right? And then this, yeah. This is playable, at least. You would normal summon Lulu and then, like, activate Curin, activate Lao Lao. This is a tuner, right? So then you can probably add another Lulu to your hand later, anyways. So you're, you're doing fine, in general. You just want to find a way to Chuche most of the time, I guess, anyway, so you and King Long. Mm. This is not the best, but I think... Is this workable? You have 3, 6, that's uh, 9. Yeah, you can probably work something out here. In general, though, like, Virtual World is, like, one of the best decks anyway, so... You'll probably just be popping off with uh, Virtual World. This list might not be optimal, but... I can't imagine, like, a setup Virtual World deck or board being easy to break anyways. They did also ban Block Dragon, but Virtual World did not get hit whatsoever. So getting hit by a Pirate's Little Braver... Or like a Gotham's or a third Blafnir could kind of hurt, you know. It can do. They can do some hand ripping. Like absolutely, they can. Mm. Yeah, I think Virtual World doing some hand looping might be like not fun to deal with. Mm. Yeah, Gotham's is also here, right? So. Autumn's does a bit of hand looping as well. 
So, if we think about it, summon a 9, Godom's, Godom's effect, Hand Rip. Goon summon Cloud Castle, summon back Godom's Hand Rip again. Does this even have a hard once per turn? No. Right? Oh yeah, if you had multiple Cloud Castle actually, you'd just summon him back again. But of course you could also just do like, summon Cloud Castle, summon Godom's, and then like, hand rip twice on the Godom's, and then summon like, a power tool braver, and then using smoke grenade, you can rip a card out of your opponent's hand. And then, with the cloud castle and uh, power tool braver you have left, summon enter blafnir. Banish a random card from your opponent's hand, just rip another one. And then your opponent barely has cards left, and then you probably still have at least like a chuche left to pop a face up. So, that'd be pretty brutal in my opinion. Speaking of which, Charles is also a 9 anyways, so you could just summon a Charles as well and just uh, equip the smoke grenade back and pop it. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a fun time playing against Virtual World in this event, honestly. The only thing you've got going is, for example, this. This is not a cheap kind of like deck just to make off rip, so. Well... Yeah, I just hope this that people already like dismantled their uh, virtual world decks, and I won't have to deal with this. That that's my hope. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.